Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about ADA. We continue to go down further here. We are in an active downtrend. Price hasn't given us at the moment any evidence that um, the trend is turning around to the upside. I am still in need, you know, in case we in case we get a trend reversal, I'm really in need to see an evidence, a piece of evidence for that. First of all, that would involve a break above 30.4 cents. And then I want to see an impulsive break above 38 and a half cents to indicate that the overall low of this entire correction here to the downside is in. Until then, I expect further downside and the downside pressure remains. This area up here around 38 and a half cents is a very important area of resistance. I'm currently counting the move down as a five wave move in a wave five. So the last wave of this correction outstanding is still one more high and one more low at least this is um, at the moment what i see my best reading of the chart as long as price stays below those resistance areas mentioned and as long as price doesn't give us a clear impulse to the upside now is it completely to be ruled out that price is bottomed no of, of course not okay and we take a look at that in this video there's always a short-term bullish count as well but i cannot confirm that this is playing out until I see price go back into an uptrend. Yeah. Remember in the last few weeks, we've always said we get another low, we get another low, we get another low, and we needed to see an impulsive break above 38 and a half cents to indicate that a low was in, which would never happened. So hopefully everybody was prepared for further downside. Of course, it came down very, very strongly and stronger than it would have been ideal. But nevertheless, the importance of waiting for evidence for a trend shift cannot be yeah, cannot be stated high enough. So it's very important to wait for that evidence um, of a trend shift. Otherwise, you're just trying to catch the falling knife. And if you want to scale into downtrends, just make sure that you know where invalidation points are, know that you know when you want to get out and make sure that you are very careful with your position sizing. Now, let's zoom in. The idea in the last videos and also in this current structure is that it will still head down lower. Um, currently, we're getting a little bit of a, a retracement where in a direct third wave, we shouldn't get one. So, however, the move up is currently corrective. So the idea was that we peaked here in a fourth wave with a WXY structure and we're heading down now in a wave five. This seems to be unfolding now as a one, two, one, two setup. So might get an extension of this white third wave and ideal targets are below 22 cents below the third wave low that was made on the 10th of June. Um, important would now be for continuation to break below 25.3 cents, the last swing low. And to keep this wave count valid, price needs to stay below the 27.7 cent level, a level I mentioned in the last videos that as long as we stay below that level, you know, um, price can follow through to the downside. If it breaks above that, my first view would be that we just get an extension of the fourth wave. Um, of course, what I cannot rule out is that, for example, either this wave four unfolds as a triangle because we currently see three waves up and we see three waves down. Okay, so that might become a triangle. It might get um, quite a drawn out correction sideways because, as you can see, three waves up and at the moment a one, two and a one to the downside. That means a three wave move to the downside. So it's not crystal clear. Is this going to unfold as an impulse down? Um, but as long as, as I said, as long as it stays below the wave too high there, that would be the expectation. If it breaks above that level, then we might either get a triangle or an extended fourth wave to the upside, which is still possible because it hasn't even broken the 30.4 cent level. Okay, that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.